Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and we're here to bring you your second quarter 2019 market update. All right, so in the second quarter of 2019, we're seeing a very similar trend that we've been seeing over the last six to eight months in our market here in Coral Springs. So for the purposes of this video, as always, we're only talking about single family homes here in the Coral Springs market. The condo and the townhouse market is similar, but it's very different at the same time, if that makes any sense. Uh, so if you have a question about those type of properties, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to answer those questions, but let's focus on single family houses. So for single family houses, the number of new homes hitting the market is up about 9% in the second quarter of 2019 compared to the second quarter of 2018. So there's 9% more homes on the market now. At the same time, there's about the same number of closed sales. So sales are basically flat, which is a good thing. We're not seeing declining sales, but the exact same number. And the number, the median price in Coral Springs for a single family house in the second quarter of 2019 was 415,000. That's up from about 405,000. So prices are still coming up a little bit. It's up about two and a half percent from this time last year. With that being said, what I'm seeing in the market actively is that buyers have a lot more to choose from. So they're being pickier with what they're writing offers on. With 9% more homes on the market and the same number of sales, the market, you know, buyers have more to choose from. So your home has to be priced accurately in order to sell. The number of days on market is ticked up just a couple days, but percentage wise, it's almost 7% longer to sell. We're looking at close to 50 days on the market for average homes in Coral Springs. So again, buyers have a little more to choose from which is a good thing for buyers, especially since interest rates have come down almost a full percentage since about last summer, last fall of 2018. So it's a great time to be a buyer, more to choose from, homes are sitting longer, and your payments are gonna be lower because of lower interest rates. At the same time, it's definitely still a good time to be a seller if you're realistic and you're gonna price your property appropriately. The days of being able to just pick your list price and you know having the market catch up to you are kind of gone. You have to be much more accurate with how we price our homes here in 2019, but homes are still selling. It's a great time to be a seller as long as we price them correctly. So that's our market update for 2019. If you're curious about how this new market is affecting your home's value, feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever works for you. We'd love to answer all your questions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.